Well, I've been saying for years that you can't beat homegrown veggies and herbs for flavour and freshness. But what about if you haven't got enough room to put in a proper sized vegetable patch? Well, obviously, pots are one alternative, but I've got another. We'll take a look at this for a great idea. It's a Gardman reusable grow bag a 90 litre heavy duty polypropylene bag that can be reused over and over. It can also be moved easily around the garden to a sunny position. This makes it ideal for patios, balconies and courtyards. Well, I've emptied seven bags of tomato magic potting mix into this grow bag. And the reason? We're growing tomatoes. And I've chosen some great old varieties. These are heirloom types, this particular one Principi Borghese, and it's a marvellous type for producing sugo, in other words, tomato sauce. And then we've got Tommy Toe and Green Zebra. You can grow lots of different crops in these, capsicums, chilies, zucchinis, all your salad crops, they'll grow fabulously well. Just a sprinkle of tomato and vegetable food, water them in, and it's all done. This pop-up herb plant is just the shot for growing a miniature herb garden. So just peel the packaging off, which is, uh, as you can see, really easy to do. <laughs> and then undo the Velcro and it just pops straight up, like so. Ready to go. Now we've got this one already underway, so I'm going to get working on that. And it's got pockets all the way around the side into which you can put your various herbs. I've selected seven different herbs to go into the tower and I'm using a specific herb and vegetable mix that's rich in blood and bone. The idea is to plant up the pockets from the bottom up, adding the potting mix as you go. Once finished, a dash of herb fertiliser and that'll keep them growing for weeks. Now the last step, just water your plants in. Now these little babies here, they're actually growing while I'm talking to you. This herb planter now would be perfect to bung in beside the barbecue so you could grab fresh herbs and stick them straight onto the plate. Well, there you go, a couple of ideas for squeezing vegetable plants into tiny spaces.